Bob Barker here on behalf of PETA. In Cherokee, North Carolina, bears languish in these desolate concrete pits. I've been to Cherokee and I have seen the suffering with my own eyes. Now, a PETA undercover investigation of Chief Sanuk Bear Park shows how desperately these bears need our help. With little to do but beg for stale bread in terribly unnatural conditions, these bored and frustrated bears turn endlessly in circles. This bear, named Asia, routinely rocks back and forth, back and forth, a sign of profound deprivation and stress. Bears bite the metal bars in pits and that breaks their teeth, which is painful and can cause bone infections. Breaks off. They keep biting at them gates and then rebar that's in there for gates. I tell you, they sit there and bite. Yeah. Is it poison? The bear teeth actually break. Oh, yeah. It happens. Especially if I'm chewing on metal. Bears have a remarkably well developed sense of smell. Yet workers leave the bears trapped in pits amid their own waste all day long. They attempt to hide the odor artificially. Super odor killer. It kind of smells like orange or something. So what he's trying to do is he thinks it completely smells like bear shit. And he's trying to spray it all down. Because, yeah, I guess it bothers him. It does smell a little bit. Too. Yeah. I think I get to sit in here and maybe I just get used to it. Did they see? Well, the USDA care if you use that stuff? No, I don't care. You just gotta be careful if they think you're trying to hide something. Right. Yes, we are. Even though a worker says that bread causes bears to have loose stools, the park keeps feeding it to them. It's their food that makes it look like that, though? Yeah. Too much bread will make it messes with the bacteria in their stomach, so it gives them like, not really to run or nothing. It just makes sure the stuff's off. And they don't like that bright yellow color for some reason. Here, a manager describes how park workers deny bears food. He was like saying he wanted them to not eat so that they'd be super hungry the next day for people, you know? But he was like, well, them bears. And here, the park's bear handler explains what happened to one bear who attacked. Took 20 shots to kill that bear. A square in the head. I ate him. What? I ate him. Nothing better than bear has been eating bread and half a while. Meat's good. Listen to what workers have to say about Native Americans who own the parkland. Do you have like an informal, no Indian costume? <laughs> hey, I wouldn't really say that, but, but yes, without saying that. Long distance corn niggers. These fucking work. Indians! Here, the manager admits that he gets high at the park. Every once in a while when I'm there, just to change things up, I might get high. And it does alter everything. Now. And here the bear handler discusses a United States Department of Agriculture inspector. So they sent us a temporary woman named Susan, which is an asshole. This one is a big one. If I ever get her out, I'll knock her out. These bears have for years been deprived of all that is natural and important to them. They deserve to feel grass beneath their paws, to eat nutritious and tasty food, and sleep on hay at night, not concrete. It's time for them to be allowed to live like bears, to forage and explore acres of land. Please join me today in getting these bears to a safe sanctuary where they'll be allowed to live as bears were meant to live. To learn more, visit PETA.org. Thank you.